Hey, what's up? In this video, I just want to run through several things to look out for when you are doing your LED graphic display on the Grand VJ. So in this example, we have the lights and we have something on the LED screen here. And what I want you to look at is that the how the lights are kind of distracting from the overall focus, which should actually be the, the LED screen in the center. And lights is a uh, complement to the LED graphics. The LED graphics is a complement to your lights. So we, if we don't work together, we will actually be fighting and competing against each other. So this is what I mean. If I were to change this, I will actually remove all the lights, turn it off and let the, the main video in the middle get all the attention. And that's how you should look at it, to how you can support whatever lights bring out and and whatever else is happening and be able to see what else you you whatever you put on the graphic display is affecting everything else in the scene and in the whole uh, the space that you project it on so in the middle here you have the LED screen on the sides here we just see the projector screens turn on and you have to know that the projector screens are really not as bright as the main LED screen here. It is probably many times over brighter, as in the LED screen is many times over brighter than the side projector. One thing to look out is that with a lot with a lot of lights going on here in this example right now that we are looking at. Adding on the Adding on an additional LED uh, light can actually be very distracting and we have to understand that the LED screen is a, is a huge light source that's why it is under lights because it is made out of a lot of light uh, LED lights that create a huge panel and when you put them together it is just as strong a light source as our lights that we put out using the, our light spot here. So now we have no LED lights on uh, graphics on screen and the lights really look great. Just wanted you to take a look at that and just see how everything is put together. And right now we just see our LED screen having something on and depending on the angle of the light, you can see that it really decreases the contrast and it makes the light beam harder to see on this this one and these two particular light beams here so remember that whenever you put something on you can potentially and you will potentially decrease the overall contrast of the whole scene especially with their light beams so now you can see it turn down you can see a lot of light beams much more clearly <coughs> So work together with the one at the light spot and try to find an equal medium. And for LED lights, it's actually less, uh, less is actually more. Putting up just the right amount and not to overwhelm the whole screen with, the, with, a, big, with a big graphic. So a lot of the graphics that I try to put in the, the banks have a lot of blacks inside them compared to a, a full screen display of a video that will actually fill up the whole screen like that as you can see on the strokes on a fast song it's not so bad I would say but on a slow song, a, a worship song you just want things to be a bit more slower and uh, having less uh, impact in that sense you have to also understand that the the LED screen shines directly at the audience eyes so when all these lights all these lights are shining up and down all over the place but this screen here is shining at us directly as at the audience directly and if it is too bright it is very glaring especially when it is supposed to be something like a very slow and mellow worship feel kind of thing and if you take a look take a look at this okay take a look at this the lights really look great and 
a lot of times yeah, I, w- I wouldn't say to not to put something out but to put something out at a level that doesn't overwhelm the overall uh, contrast of the scene because when you increase uh, when you increase the amount of lights overall including the LED graphics the overall contrast de- decreases and there's and it looks less dynamic we, are, we get a less sense of a depth here can you take a look at this particular uh, screen here we have the LED uh, we have the camera light feed on the two side screens and on the side projector here and see that whatever we put here is also shown on the two side here and on this side here let's pause this here and go to our next video here what do we have okay so over here it's it's filling up the whole screen this LED screen uh, this LED is filling up the whole screen and I would uh, try not to to feel the software uh, the Grand VJ software with graphics that look like that so so for example this you see this lights are tilting upwards they are shining at us so imagine that on a smaller scale with all these little lights inside the you know, that fill up this screen here at that level so when our our screen is at that position where the lights shine directly at us and you have to take note over here that this lyrics is uh, still readable especially for your slow songs so at this uh, at this level is still uh, kind of acceptable but you want to make sure that your lyrics is still readable especially oh I say that already right if I say that yes I say that already keep it at a, keep it at a low level and watch out for this uh, low, uh, little details but don't uh, overwhelm yourself at the same time if you are new to this just try to remember all the little things that are feeling it that uh, make up the that affect everything else is what I want to say let's go to our next video here okay what I like about this is that the red here in this screen complement the red and the yellow lights here take a look at the uh, the singers on stage they have their face lights turned off obviously because uh, because you can't see their face uh, okay right now definitely their face lights is turned off because all you see is a silhouette and remember that the LED screen the LED display is a backlight because of where the position is it is at the back it shines towards us and when it is a uh, backlight and you turn off the face light it creates a silhouette effect and you are able to see this really really contrast and really dynamic uh, silhouette look that you, when you work with the person on the light spot okay, you can say this is a good time to turn off the face light let's, let's give a silhouette effect turn you can turn up the you can turn up the LED and then you can you don't even have to go all the way just put it at a, a, a good enough level and because that contrast is there you're able to see that that punch of a silhouette shape use it sparingly at certain times of the song okay let's take a look at this okay your LED screen here you are impacting your light feed on camera remember that so uh, ignore the, the flickering here but when you see past the if the back is too bright it's gonna overwhelm the light feed which overwhelms the projector or if it is in the middle it's gonna be much worse where because the LED screen is brighter you're gonna do you're gonna make everything so much more brighter so that's something to keep in mind the purpose of the LED screen at the back or not say the purpose but then one of the ways we use it is to create a form of separation uh, for pastor or where is on stage on screen here against the background so if it is a black background uh, he might seem to be uh, lost 
lost in the background if the face side is also not strong in terms of the silhouette. Uh, let's take a uh, let's get distracted for a bit and then take a look at this. So what is happening on the Grand VJ is that we are following the beat. One, two, three, four, and then following it, turning it out on the dimmer, the intensity of it. Oh, oh, oh it turn on and on, on and off, on and off. And it is suitable for play songs almost all the time. It is not as suitable for worship songs. Use it sparingly unless for situations like this. Uh, look at the silhouette, it's a very nice silhouette. We have uh, no face lights on and then we have a strobe light effect that we can manually put it on. So work with the light guy, work with the one on the lights and then if you want to do something like that, uh, just plan it in advance so that we all know what to expect and we can uh, make it look like lights and graphics is going on at the same time. It's controlled by, by one one person, one one brain, you know, like lights and graphics is one team. Oh. Let's keep forward and then see. Okay, so this is what I mean by some form of separation. It's a balance between the amount of face light that lights the person on stage versus the amount of light at the back so if it's too bright it can be overwhelming if it's too dark it can get lost in the background let's go forward again okay so this is a combination of two graphics we have the this little rectangles here that is bouncing and then we have another wavy flowing uh, background here and use it sparingly for your worship songs you can use it a lot more for praise songs ah this is a masking this is definitely a mask effect so this is a very nice example this is a very nice example of a mask effect where we use the that little rectangle graphics that is bouncing around that mask away the other ones on the bottom here and it's suitable for this this level of a fast slow song which has a very high energy so this is how you can mix your make your slow graphics have a very fast look if it makes sense okay i want to see this so this is a very nice silhouette you have a much brighter background and then you just see this the shape of pastor outside and I would say that this is this brightness. So when you turn on the face light, he uh, pastor is uh, quite bright, and then the background is also quite bright. I will lower the intensity down to something like this over here, where it is just enough to give some form of separation, where we can see the waves flowing. And we can see that oh, this is the shape and outline of pastor, and then it doesn't overwhelm the face. The amount of uh, face light that lights him from the front uh, is darker than that so that's good so when it's dark we start we start to lose our ability to see the, the shape of his cap that blends into the background things like that uh, maybe the shape of the ear the side of his face start to like blend into the background because we are not able to get the contrast out okay what do we have next Okay, so in conclusion, in, in conclusion, in conclusion, just remember that we are complementing the lights. We are working as a team together. Over here, we have this light, this uh, LED graphic that is kind of like purplish, bluish. Our LED lights is also, our, I mean our lights is also purple and blue in that color. And that is one of the ways that we complement each other is using the colors. And I, I, tr I try to create our graphics such that they have a lot of blacks, as I've said, so that we doesn't overwhelm. Fast song is relatively fine, but
but slow song really try to control the amount that we put out and remember we are lighting the whole scene and all the things that we affect are just not just the middle but the two sides here and whatever live feed that goes on also potentially we are affecting them the lyrics as well we are making the lyrics unreadable if we are too bright so that's all thanks for watching